Hello, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade. And today I'm going to show you just a few new uh, tray work activities that I have for my preschooler and for my kindergartner. Um, so I just have a few new ones here. I'm going to show you the math first. Now in one of my last videos, I showed you the first set of math activity cards that I made for my kids. Um, and this is the second set. It has measurement, shapes, and addition. So um, the shapes one, I will probably be able to do with my preschooler and my kindergartner. Um, and maybe even the measurement one my preschooler might be able to do, but my kindergartner will be the one to do the addition um, because my preschooler just turned three. He's not there yet. Um, but let me show you how these work. So um, what I did today, I use all sorts of different manipulatives on these kind of cards. And what I did today is I just decided to use um, some Play-Doh ball, balls. So I just rolled them all into balls. And actually, you can have your kids do this because they love it. And then um, for the measurement cards, and by the way, of course, I will leave links below to where you can get all these cards. Um, so check out that. But so for the measurement cards, he's just basically going to look at the card and count how many, how long it is. So it's one, two, three, four blocks long. So he's going to take his Play-Doh ball and he will put it on the floor. Then we will do the next card. How long is the die? Is the die? One, two. It's too long. And he will cover up his answer. Okay, so he will continue on like that. And um, there's a whole handful of just different objects that he will measure and that he will mark the correct measurement. So you can use any kind of object you want to cover up their answers. Um, today I just decided to use Play-Doh balls, but you can also use um, these clips and they can just clip their answer. So that is one type. And these all come in um, one download. It's the set two cards. And if you're interested in my set one cards, um, check out my other video. I will try to link it below um, so you can watch the first video I did. All right, so then the next type of cards that come in this set are shape cards. Now this should be easy for my preschooler. What I'm gonna have him do is basically he just has to find the shape. So what shape is he holding? And he's gonna look down here and he's gonna cover up this shape and then I'm going to say rectangle, that's a rectangle. So he's gonna match it up but then we're gonna talk about what the name of the shape is. Just to kind of reinforce the different names of the shapes. He knows most of the basic ones, like he knows heart, he knows square, but it's just a fun way to reinforce that. So when he does this, you know, um, say, okay, find the shape that matches. He will cover it up and then we will say square. That's a square. Square has four sides and we'll count the sides and so on. Um, some of them are harder than others. We've got oval in there, star, diamond, you know. So some of them are harder than others, but you know, cause we've got like hexagons and trapezoids and octagons and hexagons and all that kind of good stuff, pentagons. So um, that is that set, is shapes. And then this set, I will have my kindergartner do these. And these I thought were really kind of fun. So basically for these, it's just addition. So he will count the gumballs. So basically right here we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one equals, and then he will have to count seven, eight, and then he will cover up eight. And then we will just continue on like so. Okay, so those are addition cards and they're all um, up through 10, like addition through 10. So the highest number will be 10, that any of them will be. So those are the math cards. And then the other um, new activity I have here is a, a, a phonics activity for my um, preschooler. Because my kindergartner is kind of past this now. But you can get this also off my website. I will leave a link below where you can get it. And I made this one a winter theme. So here you can see I have just a penguin. There's a little winter polar bear. Some winter, peng uh, winter snowman. Another one with a snowman. Snowman. And little bear. And then what is the other one? And little monsters with snow. So um, there's two different types of games they can play with this. 
So the first one is, and this time instead of using the Play-Doh balls, I just have these little gems because I thought they kind of looked like ice. So I thought it make make it a little bit more fun for winter. And this one, like I said, has a winter theme to it. I'm going to make some more uh, games like this too. And I might make, my next one might be like a Valentine's Day game. And um, I might make some different ones. But anyway, it comes with these uh, mats that you saw. And it also comes with um, alphabet cards with the lowercase letter on them. And it also comes with the alphabet cards, just the pictures. And here's how, whoop, there was one upside down. Here's how, um, some of them are upside down, uh, you use them. So, okay. All right, with the first few mats that look like this that have the capital letters on them, what they're going to do is they are going to use the cards with the lowercase letters, and they're going to match. So he's going to pick a card, and the first card is R, and I will say R, er, er, ring. R says, er, er, ring. Can you find capital R? And he's going to look at his mat. He's going to take a gem, and he's going to cover up capital R. Very good. Let's try another one. That's P. P says, p -p pig. Now, remember, he just turned three, so I'm going to have to tell him the sounds and re remind him. P says, p -p pig. Can you find capital P? He's going to look around on his mat, and he's going to find capital P and cover it up. And we'll just keep going like that. And then he'll find S, S. Can you find capital S? So these are all the lowercase letters, and then they have to match up the uppercase letters. So that is that game, and he can use that for, he can do that for this mat, this mat, this mat. Now, these last mats have both capital and lowercase letters on them. So for these ones, what he's going to do is he's gonna use these cards, and he's gonna practice beginning sounds. So what he will do with this is I will show him a card, or he will he will take a card. The first card here is a mitten. Mitten says mmm mmm. Can you find the letter that says mmm mmm? And he is going to find and cover up the M. Very good. All right, next one is octopus. Octopus says ah ah. Can you find the letter that says ah ah? And it has, and the reason I did capital and lowercase on here was so that they could associate both letters with the same sound. So um, that's what he will use these cards for. Nest, n, n, nest says n, n. Can you find the letter that says n? And that's what he will do. And he can use this mat uh, for that. Oh, th this one is for this because it's got capital letters on it. But he can use this mat for beginning sound cards. He can use this mat and he can use this mat for the beginning sound activity. So there's a couple different options here, especially if you have more than one preschooler. Like if you were playing this with a classroom, you could give them different um, mats so that they're not all doing the same exact one. And then you could just put the card up on the board or up on a pocket chart or something. And then when they see it, they have to cover it up on their mat. So you could play it as a whole class kind of thing. Or um, you could play it you know, with just two kids or three kids, however you wanted to do it. So I gave you some options there with the different mats. And I also figured with my kids, I would let them pick you know, which one they wanted to do because there's just some cute different pictures. And we would probably keep going until we covered them all up. So basically there are all of the alphabet letters are on each mat. So they would practice every single letter whenever they do it. So that is, those are the two new activities that I'm adding to our activity uh, trays this week. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you want to download any of this stuff, I will leave links below to everything. And I appreciate you watching my videos. I really do. Um, I have gotten so many nice comments from all you lovely mamas and teachers out there. Um, and it just warms my heart that I can help anybody because, you know... I just love that you guys get to do what we do and that we're all having fun educating children. So, all right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.